So for this next video, let's take a look at the Synology Disk Station Manager 3 software, DSM30, that comes as part of the DS411 Slim uh, device. We've already installed and configured DSM3 as part of the initial configuration of the 411 Slim. So let's go back and have a quick look around what else we've got. So we need to sign back in. And here we are again back with the quick start. So we've already created a volume. Um, I'm not going to go and create a user. I'm going to leave all that and, and I'm not going to uh, access files and all that sort of thing. But let's just close this for a second and have a quick look at the window. I do want to show it next login, so I'm going to click yes. Yeah. So here we are. We've got the main window here, which is shown in a web browser. On the window, we've got file browser, control panel, help files, and a quick start. And up here is a drop down box. Now, this shows us a number of things the control panel, the browser, the manager, backup and restore, all sorts of things like that. Resource monitor, system information. Let's just take a quick look at system information for a second. And if we have a look at that, you can see that we've got the name of the, the machine, how much memory, the version of the software, how long it's been up and running and other sorts of information there. Again, we can see information on storage, and if we wanted to, we could see the logs. Let's just close that. So let's open the control panel, and let's make that a little bit bigger. Uh, and here you've got a number of items that you can actually change. You can set up file sharing permissions, an FTP server, users and groups, set privileges, uh, you can set up all sorts of different things on the device, such as a website. Um, you can put firewalls on there. You can, I mean, basically the, the uh, options are endless. You can set up a media server, an iTunes server, audio and photo stations. You can set it up for downloading of torrents, uh, bit torrents. You can set up a surveillance station as a file station. Anything you like, really. The choice is yours. I'm not going to actually go and install any and configure any of those. I just wanted to show you a quick look at it. So let's close that. Information on the top right hand side is very easy to see what's happened. So in our case, the last thing that was done was we created a volume. So we can close that. Right. So if we go back here now to personal settings. Here we can change the admin user account details if we so wish, change the password, uh, again we can look at volume usage and other information we can allow or, or disallow as, as needed. Going into Quick Start obviously takes us back to here, so if we click Discover More Applications, um, as you saw from what we just saw in the control panel, there are a number of uh, things we can do, media server, iTunes, audio and photo, surveillance, etc. Um, so let's say, for example, we wanted to set up an iTunes server. We click iTunes and it comes up here and it says, enable iTunes service to allow all iTunes clients on the same subnet to browse and play songs in the music, video and photo shared. So basically that means anyone on my home network can access the library. And to do it, all I need to do is just click that. And it's simple. So that ends our very, very quick look around the Synology DSM 3.0 software. Um, if you've actually got a DS411 Slim or any other Synology box that uses DSM, you're probably familiar with this uh, look and feel and what you can actually do. So uh, keep watching using Windows Home Server for uh, more videos in the future. Thanks a lot.